Hello and welcome back. In this video I'll be modifying my son's ride-on car. This is a 6 volt system. Um, we've had it for about two years and I bought it when he was one year old. Um, back then he was a lot lighter. He didn't really know how to use it so um, I used the remote control just to drive him around. Um, and at that time the battery would probably last for anything up to an hour. I've never really actually run out of battery but um, recently with um, he, my son's weight increasing as he grows up and um, with the charging cycles on the battery uh, it's really had an effect on how fast the car is and how long it can ride for. Um, and recently we've just, as we've been going out um, with the car, we've been running out of battery and we had to um, pull it all the way back home. So in this video I'll be changing the battery um, with a battery I have from one of the power tools. drill battery underneath the seat where the old battery would sit. I've connected everything up. Um, the display will stay underneath the seat as well. So if I turn it on you'll see there it's upside down but that's 27% of the voltage. Um, so, so the battery is 14.8. Now all the lights in the car everything is um, supposed to work on 6 volts but now everything is getting 14.8 volts uh, because this doesn't actually regulate the voltage so I think what I'll do is for now I will put the seat back I will not uh, make any holes for the buttons I'll let my son play with it for a bit see how long it lasts see if anything breaks if nothing breaks then I think a good position um, for all these would be somewhere here on the back of the car so I, so I can control it while he's riding it around. My only concern is he'll try and uh, change the settings when he's just playing with it in the garage and then he'll jump on it and um, you know, with this turn to 100% and it will burn something out or he'll hit something. Um, so that's why for now I'm leaving it underneath the seat.
So the test ride earlier looked very promising, so I thought I'll uh, tidy up the job. So what I've done, the battery stays in the same place as before, um, and I've mounted the display with the um, regulator and an on-off switch on the back of the car. Um, I didn't know where else to put it. I didn't want to <coughs> drill too many holes in the car. It's just got two holes with the number plate used to go or at least there was a sticker there with uh, what looked like a number plate um, so I can remove this and put it back to factory settings without any problems same with the battery um, I can just disconnect the wires um, and connect them to the old battery earlier in the video when I was talking about this speed controller I didn't really know what I was talking about um, I, I've read up a bit on it and uh, this speed controller works by pulse width modulation so uh, what it does is it turns the voltage on and off and the percentage here indicates how long the voltage is on so for every pulse the voltage is on for 30 percent of the time and it's off for the other 70 percent of the time and that allows it to control the speed of the motor now everything else in the car will still receive the voltage that the battery produces uh, so I am concerned that something might uh, burn out for example this uh, this unit here which is which basically allows me to use the remote control and control the car so it allows me to control the steering um, and going forwards and backwards as well as the brakes so I, I have a button which I can apply and it basically stop it locks the wheel um, and it stops the car and I use that quite a lot so I don't know if uh, this can withstand the voltage of the new battery um, I've been out with my son for a while it seems to hold out well uh, we've not had any issues so far apart from uh, this unit here that uh, displays the uh, state of charge of the battery that doesn't work anymore but everything else works all the other lights uh, the music in the car still works forwards backwards works um, haven't really had any other issues 